Hello everyone, here we are back with our uh, next video for teaching aptitude, UGC paper one, uh, practice questions. Before we go ahead with this practice questions, here is a small announcement for you all. We on Global Unlo Online University platform have brought up mock test series for all the aspirants who are practicing themselves for a UGC paper one that is UGC net paper one. And these mock test series have already started from 1st of April, 2021. Those who have missed this series, you can go to the channel and you can assess the mock test series till date, which you have missed. And uh, just remember henceforth, if you are regular with this mock test series, daily at 8 a.m., different, different topics, we come up with the different topics for your benefit, which will help you to give a good amount of practice, a good amount of uh, preparation for your upcoming examination of May 2021. So uh, this mock test series are going to be, you know, coming up till the time of examination. So just take, uh, just uh, get, make a maximum benefit out of it. Uh, this will help you to, you know, uh, go through the questions quickly to understand and to revise it properly. So ensure that every one of you are taking the opportunity and benefit out of this mock test series and doing your best. So let's go with the question for the day. The question starts with uh, which of the following is a massive on open online course platform created by Ministry of Human Resource Department, that is Government of India. So we have the options Pratham, Swayam, Future Learn, Open Learn. So when we talk about Pratham, Pratham is, a, a, I mean to say Pratham is a non-government organization. So it's not a start, it's not an online platform which is started by Ministry of Human Resource Development. If you go for Swayam, yes, it's a massive online open online course platform, which is created by Ministry of Human Resource Development, that is Government of India. Future Learn is an open platform, but it is not, it is related to British uh, education. Open Learn is an educational website. So if you see the right answer for this question is the second option that is Swayam. We are going to come up with a lot of questions on Swayam. Uh, so this is just a start. Slowly, slowly, every day you will be getting, you know, uh, lots of content uh, related to your paper one. So just stay tuned. Just uh, focus yourself on the practice and ensure that you are just uh, having the only aim now is cracking your uh, net examination of May 2021. So let's go for the next question. We, where we have assertion and reason. Now, again, I'm repeating for assertion and reason type of questions. You do not have to think uh, for the question. You just have to focus on the question and what the question speaks with respect to the reason that you have to correlate. Aapko is question ke assertion or reason ko dekhna hai. Aapko aapka point of view yahaan pe consider nahi karna hai. So you will make a mistake while marking an answer. Aap sif assertion pe dekho, uske reason pe dekho and then select from the best options which are given. So here we have the assertion as pedagogy and social interaction are two major result oriented activities of a teacher. Now pedag pedagogy is a technique a approach towards the teaching okay, between a teacher and a student. Social interaction is an interaction within the society. So these are the two major oriented activities, result oriented activities, which we outcome the outcome. Now for that, what is the reason given is communication has a limited role in both these activities. Abhi pedagogy or social interaction ke liye you need to communicate. But yahan pe unho ne kya bola hai ki communication is limited, has a limited role. So definitely A is correct, but R is, you know, R is false. So here there is no explanation matching. The only thing the strategy years is working about a true or false so if you see a is true so this option will not definitely go because there is no explanation this option also gets cancelled so what is the correct option we have a is true that is option number c as i always tell you that i prefer this method of you know reading the question going through the answers and downsizing the options so that you know you come close to the right answer or is kelly up because if question pay takes a hand in a and option you have to focus on the question okay when you are reading 
आप पूरा कॉन्सेंट्रेशन क्वेश्चन पे रखिए ऑटोमेटिकली यू स्टार्ट प्रैक्टिसिंग इन दिस वे इट विल बिकम इजियर फॉर यू टू गो हेड विथ योर प्रैक्टिस सेशन so the right answer for this is that is the option number c next let's go for uh, the next question which of the following is an example of maximum performance test we will go for this theory also okay ye ye question ka hum theory bhi dekhenge but agar suppose aapko nahi pata ye maximum performance test kya hai see maximum it gives it means it is much in huge in number or more performance it it means the performance it means it's talking about the performance and action okay yahan pe unhone options kya diye hai projective personality test interest inventory aptitude test attitude scales so obviously performance ke bare mein it's personality test hai no it will only reflect about you know the personality aspect interest inventory match nahi kar raha hai okay attitude scales will not will only considered attitude so yahan pe kaun sa option which comes to the you know close by to the question is aptitude test so let's see this one a small slide for this maximum yahan pe unhone question kya pucha hai maximum performance test ये जो टेस्ट होता है वो पर्सन की पर्सन की नॉलेज और एबिलिटी फाइंड आउट करने के लिए होता है जो इन सब वेज में डिवाइड होता है जैसे लाइक फॉर एग्जांपल अचीवमेंट एंड एप्टीट्यूड स्पीड टेस्ट पावर टेस्ट ऑब्जेक्टिव टेस्ट एंड सब्जेक्टिव टेस्ट सो दीज आर द यू नो टाइप्स सो दीज आर द टाइप्स यहाँ पे मैचिंग आपका देखो यहाँ पे रिलेटेड है एप्टीट्यूड टेस्ट ओके सो द राइट ऑप्शन फॉर दिस क्वेश्चन इज एप्टीट्यूड टेस्ट next the emphasizes emphasizes it means the uh, the more amount of uh, memory level teaching yani memory level teaching mein sabse zyada which of the following is followed kaun se isme se kaun se options match hote hai na humne three levels of teaching kiya hai previous wale videos mein maine do videos mein uske content bhi bataye the questions kaise kaise bataye aapko फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल कितने लेवल्स ऑफ टीचिंग हो गए थ्री दैट इज मेमोरी अंडरस्टैंडिंग एंड रिफ्लेक्टिव उसके बाद किसने डेवलप किए हैं इन लेवल्स को वो भी बताया है एंड हाउ इट इज कैसे वो कौन सा लीस्ट थॉटफुल है और कौन सा मोर थॉटफुल है तो अगर आपको कंसेप्ट क्लियर है देन इट विल बी इजियर फॉर यू टू आंसर दिस क्वेश्चन सो लेट्स सी दिस क्वेश्चन टेल्स विथ वॉट ऑप्शन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन ऑफ थॉट्स एंड आइडियाज सींग Uh, of relationship and ideas systematic presentation to enable quick reproduction critical thinking mastery of concepts uh, sequencing of facts segregating one feature from another actually agar aapko concept clear hai to you will come quickly come to the answer but theek hai we don't have to go you know very hurriedly abhi yahan pe unhone kya diya hai memory level jo sabse you know low uh, means the first level of teaching aata hai usme hum kya emphasize karte hai kis pe zyada importance dete hai you know recalling part and uh, organization of uh, the relationship okay yahan pe if you see क्रिटिकल थिंकिंग उन्होंने बोला है क्रिटिकल थिंकिंग सो ऑब्वियसली ऑप्शन डी तो आएगा नहीं क्रिटिकल थिंकिंग ओके रिलेशनशिप सींग द रिलेशनशिप आप डायरेक्टली मेमोरी लेवल से इतना क्रिटिकल थिंकिंग तो स्टार्ट नहीं कर सकते क्योंकि आपको रिलेशनशिप अगर देखना है तो उसके लिए क्रिटिकल थिंकिंग होना जरूरी है तो आपका ऑप्शन बी भी चला जाएगा ओके सो वॉट लेफ्ट विथ यू इज ऑप्शन नंबर टू which talks about organizing sirf aapko thoda sa organize karne hai thoughts and ideas ko fir aapko usko systematically you know you have to present it aur uske baad aapko kya karna hai mastery because we talk we give emphasizes more on the uh, learning of this uh, concepts in this particular level of teaching so let's see hamara like where, where we have come up with the right answer or not so yes if you see option number 2 is you know the correct option that is c Uh, sorry a then c and then your e answer so this this is how you know it will help you out agar aapke concepts clear hai to aapko ye uh, i mean to say the answer to give the answer for this question it will be helpful abhi recent uh, exams mein last year ke november mein ek question tha memory level of teaching ke upar jahan pe unhone ye point diya tha seeing of relationship and ideas and many student got confused so in the next video i'll come up with that question uh, for you people so that it will be easier for you ki dekho uh, concepts wo same use kar rahe hai but unko aise twist kiya jata hai every video i tell you have to even if 
you are strong with your concepts no you have to focus more on the reading of questions kyunki agar aap questions theek se read nahi karoge aur sirf rote learning karoge it is not going to help you out to crack your examination so you have to always put emphasizes on you know reading the question and coming down to the answer on your own विच एवर मेथड यू फील इट इज ईजी बट उसको आपको कोरिलेशन होना बहुत जरूरी है अदरवाइज आपको ये एग्जाम्स बहुत टफ लगेंगे नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग टीचिंग मेथड इज और आर कॉन्ट्रीब्यूट टू डायरेक्ट लर्निंग ओके कौन से मेथड्स डायरेक्ट लर्निंग रिफ्लेक्ट करते हैं नॉट टीम टीचिंग एंड लेक्चरिंग सिम्युलेशन एंड रोल प्लेइंग लेक्चर विथ और विदाउट ऑडियो विजुअल्स पार्टिसिपेशन एंड वर्कशॉप एंड असाइनमेंट moves and abhi humne moves ke upar question kiya tha and heuristics interactive presentation so when i'm talking about uh, uh, question kya bata raha hai aapko question bata raha hai you are talking about what you are talking about your direct teaching so in this if you see if you go one by one okay टीम टीचिंग तो नहीं हो सकता यर दे आर टॉकिंग अबाउट वॉट डायरेक्ट टीचिंग टीम टीचिंग में डायरेक्ट टीचिंग नहीं होता है रोल प्लेइंग डायरेक्ट टीचिंग येस lecture with or without audio visuals yes participation in uh, workshops and assignments yes it will also give you you know close interaction uh, moves and in heuristics method that is which encourages uh, heuristic is nothing but an encouraging student to do or discover something on their own okay so if yes so a factor nahi hoga so wherever you have an a option you can't go with a option ओके बट क्लोजेस्ट ऑप्शन अभी यहाँ पे आपको कंफ्यूजन होने के लिए चांसेस है सो यू हैव टू सी इंटरक्टिव प्रेजेंटेशन इंटरक्टिव प्रेजेंटेशन प्रेजेंटेशन है इवन योर एफ चांस विल डेफिनेटली क्रॉस आउट सो व्हाट इज लेफ्ट इज व्हाट सिमुलेशन एंड रोल प्लेइंग पार्टिसिपेशन इन वर्कशॉप मूव एंड यूरिस्टिक सो इफ यू सी योर आंसर दैट इज योर ऑप्शन नंबर वन इज योर राइट आंसर सो दिस इज हाउ यू हैव टू यू शुड नो आप एक ही सी देर आर वेरी लेस चांसेस ऑफ यू नो गेटिंग मोर देन वन आंसर एज एन ऑप्शन विच इज वेरी लेस इन नेट एग्जामिनेशन बट देर आर वेरी वन ऑप्शन विच इज वेरी क्लोज रिलेटेड टू द क्वेश्चन सो जस्ट रिमेंबर वन थिंग वेरी वेल क्वेश्चन ये वीडियो के क्वेश्चन थोड़े डिफरेंट है जस्ट टू गिव यू अ प्रैक्टिस अबाउट a little bit of level increasing your level of uh, learning also as well as practicing so every day as i said i'll be keeping on coming with the questions of different nature uh, initial videos agar aapne miss kiye hai to unko dekh lena i have uh, focused on teaching aptitude very well and we still have some day uh, more days to go so i'll be putting up all these questions every day slowly slowly it will give you a good amount of practice and at the same time do not forget to uh, you know subscribe the channel and specially to take an advantage of the mock series so stay tuned with us and uh, make your preparation day by day stronger so all the best to you for your preparations do well and ensure that you are uh, coming up with the great results in this upcoming examination thank you see you in the next video thank you everyone